and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. On today's episode of Two Minutes of Anatomy, I'm going to speak about the triceps brachii muscle. The triceps brachii is often just called the triceps. It has three heads. That's where the term tri comes from for the name. These heads are the lateral head, the medial head, and the long head. The lateral head is the strongest head of the three. Its origin is on the humerus superior to the radial groove. The medial head originates on the humerus inferior to the radial groove. And the long head originates on the scapula at the infraglenoid tubercle. So the long head is the only head of the triceps that crosses two joints. These three heads combine together to form a single tendon distally. It inserts into the olecranon process of the ulna and the forearm fascia. The main concentric action of the triceps muscle is elbow extension. The long head, again, which crosses the shoulder joint and the elbow joint, assists with shoulder extension and shoulder adduction. When the shoulder is adducted, the triceps help to hold the humeral head into the glenoid fossa. The innervation of the triceps brachii is the radial nerve from vertebral levels C6, C7, and C8. Again, there are three heads, the lateral head, the medial head, and the long head. The lateral head is the strongest head, and its origin is on the humerus above the radial groove. The medial head originates on the humerus below the radial groove, and the long head originates on the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. 